we gonna we gonna rapid fire you then because like we're moving away from that we're gonna rapid fire D line group mm. right <laughs> I'm starting with you TJ mm. who is the loudest loudest as in what you mean just just loud vocally like always talking they all gonna always gonna be saying something like just loud uh the whole D line in general would probably be him. <laughs> like not as in, not a bad thing though. <laughs> what I'm the not, loudest? Like not a bad thing though. Like, Folks, all right, wait till my question come. Like as in, I'm talking about like if we talking about we talking about leadership or like being funny and stuff. Whatever, whatever you want to make that. This is on you, the loudest. Ooh, nah, nah, nah. Matter of fact, he's walking it back. I'm Peter, gonna go. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, that's kind of hard. I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, Jaheim. I'm gonna go Jaheim with it. I like that. Answer. Are we agreeing? I'm gonna I go with Jaheim. I'm gonna go like Jaheim that with that one. Jaheim. <laughs> yeah, he's like yeah, like when? What you mean, like loud as in like? We, I'm thinking more goofy. If we're talking about like, like I thought we were talking about like people who like like laughing, like, like, like vocally loud, like or whatever you want it to right. mean. All right, Jaheem, that's well, your you answer, man. Stick okay. with it. He's, I'm he's okay. I'm going, going Jaheem. All right, Ooh. Peter. Yo. The most encouraging. <clears throat> uh, I think the most encouraging guy in the D line room now since I've been here is probably probably Trey Williams. I agree. Yeah. Probably Trey Williams. Mm -hmm. he's, I get he, he's I like that. Everybody yeah, like together was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trey is encouraging. Yeah. He, he is that guy. He may he make you wanna make you he's a guy that I would I would put it on a lot for I put it on a lot for all of them, but yeah. like we got like a special yeah. like Yeah, I would I would definitely agree. He's yeah. he's the one that if he knows that I have things going on in in my like personal life with family, et cetera, he'll be somebody that'll call and be like, Hey coach. You don't all right, man. I'll let you know I'm praying for you. Yeah. Love that. You know, he's also uh, a guy that, um, you know, last, last year, previous season, when um, Ella Brzee was going through what she was going through. And I remember I, you know, had an opportunity to go down and visit with them when she was in the hospital in, in, uh, in Greenville. And uh, I came back and was with the guys and we circled up to pray. And I just became so emotional. Like, I, I just, tears just coming out of my eyes. And I remember him like, Coach, I got it. I'll pray. And so he prayed for the entire D line room. Those are stories that make our players great and make me happy to be where I'm at and be able to coach the guys that I coach in my room. Because people don't they don't know that story. I'm yeah. sharing it now, but there are so many things that these guys do that people don't see. Um, just how great of a man they are on this team, and that's what makes Clemson who, what it is and what makes it special. I'm going to put you on the spot here right. because I want you to answer who is the best dressed. Dressed? Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, oh man. Well, two of them just left. One of them was pretty. One one of them was good. He just left. Root. He was. Root was pretty on point. All right. He was. He lived, Are we agreeing he, with he, that? He lived. Okay. He lived with guys. Now, the gallery has said yes. Now, black is his is root thing. Yeah, he's gonna be an not all black. All fit. black every yeah, time, yeah. every yeah. same time. But if that's your thing too, then that's a good. Not answer. not not that? now that he's gone. Um, Peter gonna be in that conversation and Trey. Trey, Trey. yeah. What the I answer? Know. The answer is Trey. Okay, yeah. I will get. I'm Trey one A. I want B. You okay, know what I'm saying? yeah. But the answer is Trey. The, the role like can be shared. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 that. That, that that I would agree. Those two would get the best dress trophies yeah. for sure. Who yeah. we throwing under the bus is worst dressed? <laughs> Ooh, ah, think about it. You knew it was coming. So like, TD, Ooh. he gone. TD. <laughs> TD. I seen TD in, in some cheetah print before. <laughs> oh, whoa. I ain't never. Like, you for real? Yeah. Yeah, TD is pretty terrible. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was pretty bad. But he played. I, 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 but you know what, though? He could have been a terrible all as he as he, he was on American, started all these games. He made a lot of plays. We won a lot of games. He was just amazing. So, <laughs> y'all leave TD <laughs> alone. <laughs> in our uh, group, who's the worst, worst address? Oh. <sighs> Probably Levi Matthews or something. Like that. Yeah, I hate to do the young. I hate. I hate to do the young game. The, the new guys that just came in, it probably Adam, Kasai. <laughs> in our group, Adam. Kasai. Adam ain't gonna find no clothes. He's six yeah. nine. Yeah, he 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 hoop <laughs> Everything but. got to be custom. He can't. What are you gonna do? Go to Walmart? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He, he it's like be. it's like the rankings. If you're talking about like people who dress, it's like one, two, three, four, maybe a five. And, and then, then everybody just, else. <laughs> then it's just uh, it's a like, major drop off. Yeah. yeah, they rolling up at Walgreens getting a tie. Yeah. Oh. Who I'm gonna give credit to that you would never know can dress is AJ Hoffler. 
Like, if you see him, you would never think he would be able to dress. Facts. But then, like, the moment Shout it's time out. to dress, yeah, you yeah. put it on. I get AJ, AJ. I like it. Yeah, AJ be doing his thing. I be, I be, I be watching. The thing that has blown me away when I travel, I am like, if I was a cartoon, my my mouth would be on my my mouth would fall to the floor, like you know, like cartoons, like jaw just drop. Is the amount of money in the shoes that I walk them by. <laughs> And it's like, hey, what are those? Oh, these are uh, Balenciagas. I'm like, how much those shoes cost? Twelve hundred. What? You might have twelve name. <laughs> I mean, but but it's just, I am just blown away. In all my years of being part of the NFL, I've never owned a pair of shoes that's been a close, not even maybe. Two seventy five is the most I ever spent on. But you know what? Dress shoes. Like we're we're not even gonna let him do that because this is the man who spends five hundred dollars on cologne. cologne. So like you know, I I can't let you do him like that. Mist. But it's just it's all about preference. But the (laughs) shoes they're gonna get dirty. Cologne is gonna sit on my shelf. Like like cologne, cologne sits heavy in your budget. Shoes sit heavy in mine. It's just like the thing is like a given. You know what I'm saying? Give and take. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays you can't even buy shoes in store, so you got to go to like go. That's size sixteen. Like the 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 price goes straight up. The shoe drop today. Thirty minutes later, it's already five hundred. It's bought and then it's being resold. I, I see yeah. some shoes. I see Crazy. some shoes online yeah. that, that's going for three hundred dollars. I'm like, I'm finna get these, and I put my size in. And now they seven fifty. I'm like, yo. Yeah. Like, Do you guys even remember the days of like having to wait in line for shoes? Yes. And then I get. I used to wait yes. outside. Oh, yes. what a time! It was amazing. <laughs> I sat outside. Did you ever and, wear the shoes? And waited for a finish line to open to get the <laughs> LeBron twelve when they came out. I what was a second time grade. to be alive! What yeah. amazing. Hey, did I, you ever wear them shoes with the lights around the bottom? The little LED lights? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, fifth grade. He was rocking them. I did, I did them. I was the, rocking the, the stupid Yeezy joint, The Yeezy joints <laughs> with the, the oh lighter God. bottom. Yes, and Ooh, I had the shoes. and I had the emoji bucket hat with it. It was okay. crazy work. Yeah, Wait. yeah. I had I atrocious fifth. I ain't say that. No, nah, I, I did. I had all of them. Mm. Just the shoes. Mm-mm. Who is gonna be the best football coach one day? Oh, it's gonna be me. I think she's asking you. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm asking oh, you about too? someone she's, else. She's no, not you. of these, not of just your, the <laughs> whole. The whole like, oh, I'm he's a like me. Coach already, <laughs> <Maybe she's, laughs> like, no, in, in the whole, asking. in the whole group, the like whole group? Who, it doesn't just have to be. It just doesn't have to be between these two. Oh, no, oh, to my the whole D line. Yeah, coach, uh, this would be easy. Um, yeah, no. Uh, AJ Hoffman. I almost wish we could <laughs> just like have you know pictures what? of people AJ? like scrolling. No, not AJ. Um, Oh man, it's just. Tough. I thought you said it was gonna be easy. No, it's not. If, if I had to choose in the D tackle room, it's probably be Peter right now. Um, I'm impressed with with with. Yeah, it would be Peter. Or right. you know who I, I'm being impressed with so far. I know he just got here, but but Champ Thompson. Yeah, me too. I've been impressed with him. He he to, is he is he he get, he's giving me Tyler Davis vibes. Unanimous from a class headlines. from a from a classroom in his. His attention to detail, his approach to the game is giving me Tyler Davis vibes from a preparation standpoint. From, yeah, from, from he hasn't played in the yeah. game yet, so I'm not going. I'm not going to crown him from that perspective because that's you know talking about Tyler Davis. That's he. He's the guy. He's Big the shoes man. To fill. Big huge Iron shoes. Man. He shoots. He shoots. Huge shoes. In his room, it would probably be him. You know, ironically, they're both sitting here, but it would be him. You know what? Denhoff. I think Denhoff would be a great coach. Kate yeah. Denhoff, good yeah. coach. Yeah, he's smart, and uh, I, I think he would be a good coach. Denhoff, Kate yeah. Denhoff. Yeah. So there's something that, amongst all of these young men, mm-hmm. that makes them fit mm-hmm. Clemson, right? Right. And yeah. I know you have echoed that. Coach Sweeney has talked about that. Yeah. You guys even referenced it when you're talking about going through your recruiting process and and mm-hmm. ultimately ending up here at Clemson. But what makes a Clemson kid? Like, what is it? Ironically, I put out something about this the other day on my social media. Thanks, uh, Joe Robbins. Thank you. Um, but I um, I wanted to put something out. I, I put a quote out about what a Clemson, because, you know, I'm on a recruiting trail. I'm talking to a lot of high school coaches. And, you know, coaches will always say, yeah, man, he's a, he's a Clemson kid. I hear that a lot, right? And so I'm thinking, like, well, what do you think a Clemson kid is in my mind? So I was like, you know, I thought about, like, what is a Clemson kid? And so, man, you know, the purpose of our program, as I mentioned earlier, is to graduate our players, um, to make sure they're equipped with tools for life, um, to make sure they have a great college experience and to win a championship, right? 
those things are the purpose of our program. And, you know, kudos to Coach Sweeney um, because, I mean, those tools for life and just those first three things is what matters, right? Um, and I think a lot of times people lose sight of that with, with all the things that are going on in college, collegiate athletics right now with the NIL, transfer portal, and the craziness, right? Social media, all that stuff. Um, but it's also um, a kid who's going to compete on the field and hit people in the mouth too, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, right. you know, because really at the end of the day, what Clemson is like, yeah, we're going to graduate, man. We're going to be equipped with tools for life, man. We're going to, we're going to have a great college experience and we're going to win championships, but we're also physical people on the field, you know, that when we step on that field, man, we're going to make a transformation and we're going to get after you every single play. And that's what it's about. Ain't nothing soft about it at all. But I think people, um, because we're, 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 we're really focused on the wholesome approach, and like people don't think that we're about ball. We are about ball. Yeah, we um, but we got yeah. we got to Straight make sure up. that, you know, because like he said earlier, everybody's going to have an opportunity to play in the NFL. And so, man, we want to make sure these kids leave here and they graduate and have something to fall back on and that they're equipped for tools for life so they can be great men, great husband, great men in society. And that's what's most important, yeah. you know, because this game of football, it's going to. You're gonna, it's going to pass you by. It's passed me by. I played a long time in the NFL. I played at Clemson, and here we are 20-something years later. And, you know, now I got a dad bod, you know. So <laughs> uh, so here we are. <laughs> so. I, I'm going to just take my own personal moment to shout out my husband, who is one of those Clemson kids and Clemson men. Who, That's right. A college graduate, graduate, great husband, great man, That's right. business owner. So, C.J. Davidson, shout out to you. C.J., yeah, you're the man, C.J.